In this Circuits of the Past video, Herman shows you the layout of an unknown road racing circuit in the Netherlands, the so-called ZZ Circuit, or ZZ if you're American. The ZZ Circuit is located in the far northeast of the Netherlands, in the province of Groningen. The length of the ZZ Circuit was 5.718 kilometres, or 3.553 miles long. The street circuit was roughly a rectangle, consisting of country roads that ran past some picturesque villages, crop fields, and a typical Dutch windmill. We now approach the first corner of the ZZ circuit, but the road here has been changed a little. The original corner started right here, just after the bus stop. So now we make a tiny detour onto the new intersection. After the new corner, we follow the old trajectory. We started out our lap on the original start-finish straight, but this straight is now in use as the start-finish straight for the revival races, but we'll talk about that a little bit more later. Before I tell you more about the history of the ZZ circuit, I want to first introduce the driver. In his cockpit, his name is Hermin Lischweyer, but he is also the founder of the Circuit of the Past website and YouTube channel. I'm Simon Smith and I do the voiceovers and occasionally butcher names as you'll probably find out later on. <laughs> I run a YouTube channel called Higher Plane Games if you're interested. The ZZ circuit was used for the very first time in 1946 for motorcycle races. With a nod to the famous TT races, they were named the ZZ races. Works much better if you're American though, because then it becomes the ZZ races. Shame that ZZ Top weren't headlining the festivals alongside. The name ZZ came from the names of the two villages where the circuit was born in between. The names Dzand and Zirip. Okay, they're very difficult Dutch names to pronounce and I butcher everything at the best of times. Herman's a Dutchie, he'll give us a lesson in how to pronounce those names now. Go on Herman, give it a go. Dzand? Zirip. Oh, I apologise to every Dutch person out there. <laughs> My apologies. Thanks, Herman, for the Dutch lesson. The quickest driver on the ZZ circuit was Dutchman Piet K. Nijnenberg. On his BMW, he clocked up the lap record during the 1946 ZZ races, with an average speed of 107.77 km an hour. That equals about 66.965 miles an hour average. The second ZZ races were held in 1947. Unfortunately, the event was not financially viable, and so the whole event stopped after just two solitary ZZ races. That's not the end of the story. In September 2000, there was a revival for classic motorcycles to be held on the old layout of the ZZ circuit for the very first time. As we mentioned earlier, they moved the start-finish straight to another location for the revival. Since then, a revival has been held every three years. A ZZ revival was also planned for 2021, but that has now been cancelled. But it's not for the reason that you may think. The 2021 revival was scheduled for the June 19th date, but was already cancelled by October 2020 because of a closure of a large part of the circuit as a result of works on the sewer system in Zirip. These activities were scheduled to begin in October 2020, with an expected duration of two and a half years. That means that moving the event forward one year or two years is not really an option. I so the next ZZ Circuit Revival will be expected on the 22nd of June 2024. Make a date, block your diary, and get it firmly in your agenda. I imagine it will be a great revival for all.
Funnily enough, Herman worked as a courier driver from 1999 to 2001 and had to deliver medicines to rural doctors twice a week in the village of Zand. Without knowing it, he passed an old road racing circuit twice a week. By the way, if you want to support Circuits of the Past to keep memories alive of these lost racetracks, you can now join us on Patreon and your name will appear in the videos. You can also make a single tip or donations to paypal.me forward slash circuits of the past. back to where we started our lap on the ZZ circuit. Originally here was a right kink, but also here the road has been changed a little throughout the years. If you turn left on here into the new intersection, you enter the village of Tizant. The last corner has also changed somewhat compared to the 1940s. And that brings us to the end of the lap of the ZZ or ZZ circuit. If you want to learn more about lost racing circuits, please visit the website www.circuitsofthepast.com. There you can also download a free ebook about seven abandoned racetracks that you can visit legally. For now though, thank you very much for watching and don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you don't miss out on the next video from another bygone circuit from the past.